The next SQL statement we're going to look at is the update statement. The update statement, of course, allows us to update our database records. So, of course, I prepared something for us, and I'm going to walk you through this particular SQL statement. So, update or command, and then the name of the table. In this case, it's the people table inside of Killer. And we set, this is another keyword, set name. This is the name of the field or of a column. So say set the name, the, the name column to Jimmy the Frog. Again, because it's text, we're putting inside of quotes here. And this is important. We have to tell it what particular row, what particular record we want to update the name. So this is where we use the ID field as our unique key ID equals three. Remember I was talking about primary keys in the insert video where we needed a primary key in a table to be able to identify a particular record because we set the ID field as being the unique key in that we know for sure that there's only one record in that table that has an ID of three. MySQL is able to identify the right record that we want to update. So let's try this out. So we hit go and we get this right here. This is a message from MySQL server saying affected roles one. Corey took this much time and we see the query. So let's uh, let's check it out, see how it works. So we automatically PHP and my admin uh, inserts a select statement for us. So we just hit go. And sure enough, the record, each of these is a record, one record, two records, three records, etc. Each of these records um, has the new unique ID, and of course the one with the unique ID of three, it was value was set to Jimmy the Frog. So there you go, that is the update statement. Let's just say we wanted to change the value of ID three, uh, excuse me, the name uh, record with an ID of three, right? Uh, we want to change it to name field to something else. We can call it uh, St Steph the Frog. So we just go go. Then we go back here. Now we do a select again. As we can see, Steph the Frog. So that's the update statement. Again, update can do much, much, much more. And we'll get into to that a little bit more when we're actually doing some PHP with MySQL. Before we leave the update video, I just want to cover one simple thing. What would happen if we don't tell it what ID, what role we want to affect? So we remove the where clause. That's sort of like an if, right? An if statement in PHP. So now we're just saying update the table people, set the name field to Jimmy the Frog. So we're not telling MySQL what particular record we want to update. So what happens? So we know that the query was effective. So we go, okay, we go, go. And as we can see, everything has been set to Jiminy Frog. Now, this is a problem because, well, you can see how we just lost all our data. So it's, uh, you can see how having a unique key can help us to identify very particular records.